Welcome to Science and Science. In this class, we'll be, we'll be dealing with data. And what is data? Data are facts and figures collected for analysis. They are facts and figures collected for analysis. We have two types of data. We have the qualitative data and the quantitative data. Now, let's talk about the quantitative data. The quantitative data is also called the numerical data. These are data that can be measured. The example is the height. Now, the quantitative data is subdivided into two. We have the discrete data and the continuous data. The discrete data, these are data that are discrete and are separate. They are discrete and they are separate. They are always in the whole number. Example is the number of cars in a parking lot. It can be five, it can be ten, as the case may be. And another suitable example is the number of students in a classroom. Now, why for the continuous data? The continuous data are that these are values within a certain range. They are they are value within a range. For example, and this under the continuous data, they may be whole or they may be in uh, in decimal. They may be whole and they may be in decimal. For example, you can say the, the height of a student, which can be 5.1 meter, 5.1 can be 5.2 meter, as the case may be. Remember, under the continuous. They may be whole or they may be in decimal. And most of the time it is in decimal, which, which we, I, I, I said earlier, can be 5.1 meter, it can be 5.2 meter, and it can be 5.3 meter, as the case may be. So this is the distinguishing factor between the discrete data and the continuous data. Number two, we have the qualitative data. The qualitative data is also called the categorical data. These are data that describe characteristics Example is color and gender. The, the qualitative data is divided into two. We have the nominal data and the ordinal data. First, the nominal data. What are nominal data? The nominal data are data that represent categories that are without order or ranking. Example is color, whether it be blue, red, or green. They are all colors that are without order. No one is preferred above the other. The other one, the second example is gender, male and female. No one is preferred, they're all human beings, the same species. And lastly, the type of, uh, type of fruits, either it be apple, grape, or banana, they are both banana, they are all fruits. Now the second is the ordinal, or the ordinal data. The ordinal data, they represent categories that are with order and ranking. Example is educational level, in a particular country, for example, you see in the country like, like mine, some people, uh, they, are, they are with their bachelor degrees, which are their BSc, where others, masters and the rest, PhD. So the, the ordinal data, they are with other and ranking. You can see the rankings ranging from the BSc to the masters and to PhD. So this is the difference between the nominal and the ordinal data. Thank you for watching. Please, I would like you to subscribe. Hit the notification button for more videos. Thank you and God bless you.